In this issue, find out what the universe has thrown at scientists and why are the strongest minds in the world now trying to solve these mysteries. We've come a long way in understanding our solar system compared to 400 years ago when we didn't know if we revolved around the sun or vice versa. However, even with our advances, the mysteries of the universe continue to baffle us and scientists are still working hard to solve them. Having solved one riddle, we have discovered two more. And over the centuries, the riddles have become more and more complex. There are many of them, but there are only two main ones. We now know that the Earth revolves around the Sun, which in turn revolves with us around the center of the Milky Way galaxy. Moreover, the Milky Way and about 50 neighboring galaxies revolve around an invisible center of gravity in the Virgo supercluster. This supercluster is only part of a larger structure, the supercluster of the Laniakea, and its objects tend to collapse into a supermassive anomaly at the center of the Great Attractor. Unfortunately, we cannot observe the Great Attractor directly because of its position in our galaxy, which is blocked by the galactic disk. Nevertheless, it is not the Great Attractor that interests us today. The focus is on the terrifying empty region that lies opposite the dipole repeller. This region is known as the void, that is, the empty region in space. If you look at the universe from an outside perspective, it appears as an endless network of galactic filaments separated by voids. The largest of these structures is called the Great Wall of Hercules. Northern Corona, which is a massive cluster of galaxies, superclusters, stars, planets, and unknown life forms. On your screen, you see 10 billion light years connected by galactic filaments, which brings us to the most significant mystery of the 21st century. What is the nature of the connections between these filaments? What are all these threads connected to each other? One hypothesis for the connections between these galactic threads is gravity. However, the matter that has been observed in the supercollider is insufficient to account for the gravitational forces necessary to form such a complex network of one billion galaxies. According to calculations, these clusters should have dispersed a long time ago instead of being assembled into such a tightly knit web. This paradox has puzzled astrophysicists since the 1970s. During that time, scientists were studying the rotational speeds of stars in galaxies at different distances from its centers. This was a straightforward task as one could calculate the speed based on the mass and radius of the galaxy. However, the data collected did not match up with mathematical predictions. The matter on the outer edges of the galaxies was moving much faster than expected, which led to two possible explanations. The first possibility was that Einstein's equations and Newton's laws of physics did not apply in all cases, requiring a new understanding of physics. Alternatively, there could be additional matter on the outskirts of galaxies that we cannot observe. This dark matter is more accurately described as transparent or ghostly since it cannot emit, absorb, or reflect electromagnetic waves, such as light, radio signals, ultraviolet, and x-rays. Electromagnetic waves pass through dark matter without interacting with it, making it invisible to us. Dark matter is not distributed evenly throughout the universe, and its presence is only faintly detected. The amount of dark matter present in a particular region can vary, with some regions having a dominance of 10 times that of visible matter, while others only have a dominance of two times. For instance, the Milky Way is surrounded by a vast sphere of dark matter, with twice the amount of dark matter as visible matter. In the constellation Coma, Berenices, a galaxy was found with 99.99 .99 dark matter. This suggests that there may be some extremely dark and mysterious events occurring in that region. The variation in the quantity of dark matter is what created the network of galactic filaments. Dark matter attracts visible matter, and it extends and wraps around visible matter, similar to how muscles grow around an invisible skeleton. This is why the first giants of the cosmos were made of dark matter, and visible matter, including everything we know, only mimicked them. 
However, the nature of dark matter is still unknown, and the brightest minds on the planet have yet to unravel its mystery. The more scientists try to figure out what it is, the better they understand what it is not. First, it is important to note that dark matter is not antimatter, because these are two different concepts. Dark matter refers to the ordinary matter that makes up everything we see, including stars, and interacts with it exclusively through gravity, not by annihilating its particles. Antimatter is known to undergo a highly explosive reaction when it comes into contact with ordinary matter, with just one kilogram being capable of producing an energy release equivalent to that of 2047 nuclear bombs dropped on Nagasaki. In the past, Astrophysicists initially suspected that a significant amount of dark matter might be comprised of machos, super, heavy, but very compact objects that are known as massive astrophysical compact halo objects. Black holes, brown dwarfs, and neutron stars have the ability to emit beams of light. But if dark matter solely consisted of these objects, the universe would be overflowing with these unique occurrences. Which is not the case. The only solution was to explore the quantum world and search for undiscovered particles, which meant delving into quantum physics. In fact, quantum physics resembles this construction. Admittedly, it may appear fragile, but the standard model, the most successful framework in physics, currently relies on only 17 fundamental particles. Yet, if one tries to introduce a new element or particle into this model, the entire structure would collapse. Unfortunately, the standard model does not allow for the inclusion of dark matter, just as there is no space for it in this construct. To find the answer, scientists must work up the courage to venture into uncharted territory, creating new exotic particles never before observed. The hope is to discover these particles using colliders, such as the collider, with two proton streams that are continuously accelerated to collide and disintegrate into smaller particles. Remarkably, the Higgs boson was discovered among the resulting debris after 30 years of searching. The particle from which dark matter is supposed to consist has not yet been found. It's called WIMP. All that is known is that it moves slowly compared to other particles and has considerable mass. Despite the impressive capabilities of the Large Hadron Collider, there may be alternative ways to obtain WIMP. It may surprise some of you to know that the largest collider in our solar system is visible to us every day. It is the Sun. What cannot be obtained in a collider on Earth can potentially be found in the core of the Sun. As the Sun travels through a dark matter cloud in our galaxy, it captures and accumulates dark matter particles through gravity. It is believed that if wimps are not fast enough to escape the gravitational pull of the star, they may become trapped in the center of the sun. Once there, under intense pressure and in large numbers, they may start to annihilate each other, emitting lighter particles like neutrinos. These neutrinos are the same particles that currently pervade your body. The sun is constantly ejecting huge numbers of neutrinos into space, but those produced by the annihilation of dark matter would have a clear and unmistakable signature. These neutrinos would have incredibly high energy levels. Scientists are currently searching for these elusive particles using unique telescopes deep below the Earth's surface. Scientists use instruments that are submerged deep under the water or placed underground to capture crude bursts of neutrinos. This is because neutrinos are better detected in these environments. There are various detectors in Antarctica and at Lake Baikal. However, there is an alternative theory that suggests the existence of primordial black holes at the edge of our galaxy, as opposed to ordinary black holes. These black holes were formed approximately 14 billion years ago during a time when the universe was a hot soup of particles. Stephen Hawking had proposed using a black hole, albeit a smaller one, as a potential source of energy. A black hole with the size of a mountain could generate approximately 10 million megawatts of radiation, enough to power the entire world. However, containing a black hole is extremely difficult, 
as it would fall through the floor if placed inside a power plant and only stop at the center of the Earth. But there's a more audacious idea. The concealed portion of the universe may not be explained by a solitary particle-like wimp, but rather by a complete realm of particles that mirrors our own. It is noteworthy that the structure of the galactic web is similar to that of dark matter. Therefore, if normal matter consists of various constituents, there is no reason why dark matter should not be equally complicated. Concealed within it could be the antagonistic twin siblings of regular particles, such as dark protons and dark electrons, which, when combined, form dark atoms. Similarly, dark photons may converge into dark light, although it may seem absurd. As we have witnessed over the past 400 years, unforeseen events can occur. Consider a human composed of dark particles. As we are aware, these particles do not react to electromagnetism, which is responsible for holding our bodies together. Such an individual would have a unique appearance. Researchers suggest that during the early stages of the universe, regular particles could have transformed into dark particles and vice versa, adding weight to this theory. To conduct experiments at such extreme energies, scientists require a more powerful collider than what is currently available. As the Earth and the Sun move around the center of our galaxy, billions of dark matter particles collide with our bodies every second. However, only a small fraction of them, about a hundred thousand, collide with the nuclei of our atoms. This implies that an average person interacts with dark matter about 11 times per hour. There are tiny particles of dark matter present in a small space of one square meter. So far, no dark planets or stars have been found. However, if we do find them, they could pose a dangerous threat to us. Astronauts who land on a dark planet would sink into its surface, like quicksand, eventually reaching its center of gravity, where they would be trapped forever due to the planet's strong gravitational pull. Some aspects of dark matter seem mysterious and almost magical. It's difficult to accept because it seems illogical and otherworldly. It's almost like believing that we exist in a world like Homer Simpson. Wow. However, despite this, the theory of dark matter is still considered plausible. As we previously mentioned, dark matter is just one of two unexplained mysteries. What is the other mystery? The faint light emitted by supernovae has led to the discovery of a second mystery. This mystery can be described as follows. There is something about which scientists know even less than there is something. The unknown force responsible for accelerating the universe's expansion is referred to as dark energy. Despite its misleading name, dark energy is distinct from dark matter and serves a different purpose. While dark matter is a tangible substance that exerts gravitational influence on space, dark energy is an inherent component of space itself. It fills the empty spaces between matter and causes them to expand continuously. In other words, dark energy is present everywhere. Dark energy causes new space to emerge in all directions simultaneously, which causes existing space to move around, similar to the infinite Gilbert Hotel thought experiment. In this scenario, the guest in room one moves to room two, the guest in room two moves to room three, and so on, ad infinitum. Furthermore, this process accelerates with each passing second. Dark energy makes up 68% of the total content of the cosmos surpassing even the 27 contributed by dark matter and the fivening composed of ordinary matter. Until recently, the cosmos appeared empty to us, devoid of any significant components beyond what we could observe. But that's not true. We just don't see the basic stuffing. Just as in the time of Copernicus people argued about what revolves around what, the sun or the earth, now we are unraveling the greatest mysteries of the universe. Four centuries ago, people knew what the end of the world would be based on the religious teachings of the Bible. Now, however, we study the apocalypse scientifically, particularly with radio observatories, not just in religious institutions. The nature of dark energy will ultimately determine how the universe will end. 
It's interesting to consider how humans can create new mysteries for themselves to solve, even as they continue to uncover the secrets of the universe. But at the same time, it's curious, what riddle will be next? And as usual, pump your brains. Bye.